We're spending a fortune on energy and the costs just keep rising. How can I reduce these costs for aeration and pumping without reducing treatment performance? The largest user of energy in most water resource recovery facilities is activated sludge aeration. Monitoring dissolved oxygen and ammonium is essential for lowering the amount of energy used for aeration. This can be accomplished with continuous online process monitoring and control instrumentation, like the YSI IQ SensorNet system, with its series of networked probes, such as the FDO, Amolite, and Varian. The FDO Optical Dissolved Oxygen Probe features an innovative angled sensor to help provide a stable measurement and requires little maintenance. Facilities that nitrify can benefit from online monitoring of ammonium as well. Monitoring of nitrification is critical to energy conservation because aerators can be turned down when the ammonium reaches a low level, allowing even greater energy savings than with DL monitoring alone. The amylite and varian probes for ammonium measurements are based on ion-selective electrode technology. As an example, one facility in Wisconsin using the SensorNet system was able to realize a $65,000 yearly cost savings. Facilities that require total nitrogen removal can optimize their process by also monitoring nitrate. The Varian includes a separate port for a nitrate electrode so that ammonium and nitrate can both be monitored continuously, allowing control of aeration, mixed liquor recirculation and carbon dosing, all with one probe. Our new permit includes a compliance schedule for phosphorus. How do I make sure that we meet the new requirements without a huge increase in the operating budget? Removing phosphorus adds a new process and new expenses to water resource recovery facilities. Phosphorus can be removed chemically or biologically. Continuous online monitoring of phosphate with the IQ SensorNet Phosphate Analyzer lets the operator know when the required level of treatment has been reached, and chemical dosing can be reduced or stopped, minimizing operating expenses. Enhanced biological phosphorus removal is more cost-effective for meeting limits less than 0.5 mg per liter, Cycling between anaerobic and oxic zones creates conditions for bacteria to release and then take up excess phosphate. The amount taken up is more than the amount released because bacteria store extra phosphorus. When those bacteria are removed from the system through routine wasting, phosphorus is also removed. Many factors impact biological phosphorus removal and monitoring of phosphate release using the phosphate analyzer lets you know how the process is working. Some investment will likely be required to implement enhanced biological nutrient removal, but it offers a much lower operating cost due to reduced chemical demand and less waste solids production. Monitoring of ORP with the Sensolite, Nitrate with the Nitrolite, and TSS with the Visolid can also help to identify limiting factors. Trying to do more with less has been a challenge. I need to cut down on the multiple grab samples we do per day to free up staff for other important tasks. Monitoring mixed liquor suspended solids is critical to the process, but sampling and measurement are time consuming. Online monitoring saves time by reducing the number of manual samples. Instead of taking one sample to the lab once per shift, the IQ Visolid TSS sensor makes continuous measurements, providing more data faster and instantly giving the information you need to optimize the process. Additionally, since the sensor self-cleans using ultrasonic cleaning technology and does not have a wiper, there are no regular maintenance requirements or moving parts that would need regular replacement. Planning for future needs is always tough. I need equipment that meets my needs today that we can maintain and expand when necessary without service contracts or specialized experts. The IQ SensorNet is easy to use and install. Every system consists of at least a controller, power supply module, sensor, and cable. You can get what you need today and add sensors, signal outputs, and communications to the systems only when you need them. Up to 20 measurements can be displayed and managed on a single controller. Additional modules can be added to the system to increase outputs or to provide application protocols and connect to existing SCADA systems. Modules are stackable and power and communications are transmitted on the same two conductor cable reducing cabling requirements and simplifying installation. It's completely operator friendly. Looks like YSI has me covered once again. With my brains and their IQ, we can solve process monitoring solutions.